it is Saturday today. I'm just doing my makeup very, very quickly because I'm about to go to the theatre with my mum. And she's picking me up in less than an hour. So I'm probably not going to do foundation or anything. I'm just going to do a very simple no makeup makeup type situation simply because I do not have time. But I was in Hobart last night. Sorry, this angle is going to be absolutely atrocious. I just don't have anywhere else to put the phone right now. So I apologize. Um, but yes, yeah, so I was in Hobart last night for a Halloween like club night event type thing. Oh, this is going to look so bad. Anyway, I don't have time. If you watched my last video, you would have seen me like trying on my Halloween outfit and that's what that was for. It did end up working out. It was actually okay because I I put like um, bike shorts underneath and was able to make it work without flashing my whole buttocks. And it was so much fun. We had such a good night. But yeah, obviously back home now and getting ready to go and watch jersey boys with my mum we are going to get dinner first so i'm trying to get ready really quickly i think the show is at like 7 30 and we're going to get dinner at about 5 30. oh i'm so excited i went to mecca while i was down in hobart and finally got my favorite mascara back that I've been out of for literally so long. It's the Wink Ink Super Mascara, just from Mecca Max. Oh my gosh, I ran out while I was um, overseas and just for whatever reason, just haven't got it yet. I was like, oh my gosh, Hobart has Mecca. I have to go and get it, which I did. And I'm so happy, so excited to use it again. When I ran out over there, I went to get a very well-known popular mascara, right? Because <laughs> I was like, well, that has to be good and then it will do me until I can get the one that I like. Um, but I tried it while I was over there and I absolutely hated it. I'm obviously not going to say what it is. Um, but I'm like, why the heck does this have so much hype? The wand was just not it at all I was like what I was very very disappointed because it's not cheap either it's quite an expensive mascara and it just was not it at all I'm actually very impressed that I'm not like hungover today I definitely feel a little bit seedy but I'm not like full hungover whereas I get the worst hangovers normally but I think because we had to check out of our hotel at 10 o'clock this morning so I was like forced to get out of bed so maybe that's the secret maybe i just need to get up in the morning and do stuff and i can like and then i can just avoid the hangover altogether i also stocked up on my favorite eyebrow pencil as well it's the brow guru micromatic pencil i ran out of this recently too which was really upsetting but here she is. I also got some brow gel while I was there. Um, brow Guru Tinted Gel from Mecca, both from Mecca Max. Um, and I'm really scared that I've actually got the wrong shade in this gel. Okay, makeup's done. Looks pretty horrendous, but, <laughs> but like, look at my lashes after that mascara. Look at that. Are you joking? I could fly away with these things. I freaking love it. Oh. Okay, now I have to do my hair and we're trying something a little bit new. Um, should this be the time for trying something new? Probably not. But I'm just like slicking back my hair into a bun because I had a heap of hairspray in it last night and it feels absolutely disgusting. So we're just going to slick it back, but I'm going to do it slicked like with actual gel. I normally just use like a little slick stick thing. Um... But we're using actual gel today, so we'll see how that goes. And one of these brushes, like the, what are they even called? One of those. I don't think you can see it. Um, and some gel. So 
was gonna say how this goes. Okay, I just had to change my shirt because I wasn't sure I was gonna get that over hair makeup. But here goes nothing. Okay, so this is the brush that we're working with. So okay, we have a part. How do I do this? Is this gonna feel really gross? How much do I use? Is that a lot? Okay, I literally, I don't know what I'm doing. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Ew. Yuck, that feels so gross. <gasps> Was that too much? Oh, that feels so disgusting. Okay, but slay. The slickest bun I ever did have. Okay, well the hair is done and it actually looks really good. Like that's literally the most perfect slick bun I've ever had. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm impressed. And that's not, like, that's not going anywhere. Okay, now here we have the fit for this evening. We have this super cute top from Cotton On that I bought the other day. Um, the skirt, this is so hard to show you. The skirt is just jeans. These boots are wildfire shoes. Then I have this leather jacket that I thrifted literally ages ago. Like, how cute. I'm obsessed with this top. This is so cute. I also got it in this brown. And I also got this top at the same time as well. Just this little, it's like a knitted kind of this strapless little crop top. So that's really cute too. But this is the fit for tonight. Feeling very cute. I haven't decided on the bag yet. But I'm obsessed with these boots. I absolutely love them. But yeah, so this is the fit. Mum will be here any minute to pick me up and we are going to get Buddha Thai, which I'm so excited. I haven't been there in such a long time and oh, it's so good. It is so freaking good. That's just what I feel like right now. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we're at a different sushi train this time. It's not, it's not our normal. It's not our favourite. So I'm excited. It's the first time. Did I say it's our first time trying it? Um, I'm nervous. It's so overwhelming. Four twenty. So they're all the same price. Yeah, they must be. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, oh. What'd you get? The crab stick. Crab stick and ari. A boy. A boy. A boy. This is so overwhelming. There's so much stuff in front of me. <laughs> What's this for? You can still like order stuff to your table.
So just find Ross, right? Yep. Guys, I'm not quite sure what's happened here. I got a bit excited and... <laughs> I got... <laughs> got quite the line up. I just ordered something off the little iPad there and I'm pretty sure it comes around on the top there on like these cool trucks. Oh, I put my finger in front of it. Your meal has arrived. Please take your meal in time. Thank you. They look freaking delicious. Hmm. What? <laughs> Hello, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. When we were in town just then after our sushi, Zach took me and got me a pair of shoes as like a little present. I'm so excited. I've been eyeing these off for so long. Like every time I go into Platypus in town, these are what I look at. How pretty. They are the New Balance Classic 574. And I think they're gorgeous. They look so cute on too. I'm actually in love. There are literally so many pairs of New Balance shoes that I want. It's actually ridiculous. There's 550s, 530s in every single colour. It's actually becoming a problem because they're all I look at. And I don't have the money to buy them. <laughs> so thanks, Zach. That's so cute, though. Made me so happy. <laughs> anyway, I finished work at 1.30 today. It was my half day. So that's why we went out for some lunch. It was a late lunch because Zach finished work at 3. And now I need to go and get ready for hockey. Indoor hockey tonight. Which I love. I love indoor so I need to get ready and go. I want to show my outfit for today though. This was today's outfit. We've got men's jumper from Boohoo. Thrifted leather jacket. These are the cotton on carpenter jeans. And then my favourite Nike shoes of all time. I don't know why, but I think the outfit looks really cool from the back. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about it. Anyway, I need to go and get ready, so...